This is Local 4 News at 4. Welcome back. A horrifying love story and a young boy's journey as he falls in love with the art of filmmaking. Of course, I have the Linda Cook here to review two movies for us. Linda, how are you doing this Friday? I'm doing very well. Okay, let's start with this first movie, Bones and All. Now, this is going to be a hard one. I had to think about this. In fact, I thought about it when I did the review, which is on our website. I'm not going to tell you too much about this. What do we see here? We see a young man, a young woman, looking a little bit maybe worse for the wear. And there's a little bit of what might be blood down here. Mm -hmm. So the idea of this is it is the perfect blend of a road trip, a romance, and a horror movie. This is not your PG-13 stuff. This is hard R. Mm -hmm. A young woman finds she has a a problem or a, a secret and she has to leave the area she's in in order to find out about her past. So when she does that, she meets a young man. He understands her, but the question is, are they good for each other? This this has gore in it. Stephanie, it's not okay, for Okay, so I'm not going to go see it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I really liked it. Three and a half out of four stars at the theaters. Thank you so much, Linda. Well, going on to the next movie, The Fable the fable man fablemans mm -hmm. okay and fablemans this is, okay this is more than a fable man as i like to say this <laughs> is the fictionalized autobiography of a guy named steven spielberg mm. and how his love for movies made him into the one one That's of the most renowned directors ever um it's about the the warmth of their jewish family what he went through to to really pursue his passion. Uh, people tried to dissuade him from it, his own family tried to, but there was something about movies that he could not let go of. It's a wonderful movie, everyone should see this, and if you've ever seen a Spielberg movie, you're gonna like it all the more. So, did you learn anything from this movie about I Steven did. Spielberg? I did, I learned about when he was a child, how that magic gripped him and stayed with him, and he knew he had to continue that on the big screen. It is so beautifully done. It's one of his best movies, and it is rated PG-13, but for older kids, um, families this holiday season, it's a sure bet. Wonderful. Four out of four stars for me. And of course, it's in theaters, right? Absolutely. Wow. So we, I am looking forward to seeing maybe both these movies in theaters one of I these days. I think The Fablemans is for you. <laughs> No oh. blood, no blood. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to skip the first one. Well, thank you so much, Linda. Well, you can see Linda's full reviews at ourquadcities.com.